this is what I had. I started off when I was in uh, doing body work. I bought uh, this guy from Home Depot. I think I paid $89 for, for it. It was on sale, and it came with the little gas valve, gas thingy, you know, and the, the torch and all that stuff. So this worked great for welding Volkswagen sheet metal together, but it would not do anything for welding, you know, any kind of thicker metal. It just was, it's just no way it would work. It's underpowered. So what I do is I just, I hooked up my welding cable. I hook up in here. I just come in and I attach my big welding cable onto here. I disconnect from where, the, where the thing is. I run the big welding cable out the back. And so right now this thing is running, but what we're using is we're using the transformer in there and the, the electronic -y thing just to power the wire feeder. All, we're, all this is is like what they would call a spool gun. And you've got the little solenoid for the gas. But here's what I do with the transformer, okay? When we wind the transformer, okay, we, like here's, the, here's our homemade transformer right here. And then we have on the floor, we have in this box, we got a little choke coil because you need a choke coil for these things. It's a homemade choke coil. Over here, we have the diodes. Now, when I first made this, I went total overkill on the diodes. They're, I think they're 300 amps each. I put them on the aluminum heat sink there. And I had a fan on there, but I ended up disconnecting the fan, took it off because the diodes never got hot. So now, let's just take a look. Let's run the vacuum cleaner with the transformer, okay? We got 16, 2, 15, 8, 15, 4, 25 amps in. My meter on the right-hand side there, I burned it out when I was doing the experiments with the higher voltage. I got to replace it. But basically, the voltage is, if you measure them, they're 230, they're right around 240. So that's the 10 horsepower vacuum cleaner running. Here's where we've been welding a little earlier with this transformer. Now, obviously, this little uh, cheap welder would never do that. That's why we build a transformer. We make the extra, you know, we can weld it a couple hundred amps if you want to weld it that way. Now, I'm going to do a little welding here. I've told my son to take to focus the camera away as I weld because I, I think he'd burn the camera out if you do that, if you shine it right on here. But we'll just weld right here. Okay, Christopher. Okay, there's. Well, I kind of. Okay, start that. Turn your yeah, cameras on. Okay. All right. Now we're now what we're going to do. We're using the homemade transformer. We're going to start the vacuum cleaner up. You see, uh, it blanks out that meter there. The input amps. Okay. So. Twenty-five point eight amps in. Now I'm going to go over and do a little welding, and we'll see what that. See what that input amps goes up to when I'm, when I'm welding over here. The edge of its limit there. All right, now you can see we put another bead on there, right there while the vacuum cleaner was running. So you can weld while you're running your motors if you want to.